All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about this gigantic mess in the Labor Party with all the bullshit surrounding Brittany Higgins. It should be a long report from Tiger Mountain because there is a ton of bullshit. Stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, where do we begin with this uh, Brittany Higgins bullshit? First of all, by simply saying it's bullshit. Whatever she was accusing that Lerman character of, it's nonsense. You know, it doesn't hold water. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. But I guess we're going to look into it a bit more. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I mean, because it was a major kind of um, uh, scandal, you know, uh, during the last election. I think the Labor Party felt they needed something, some special weapon to bring down Scott Morrison, just in case they weren't going to win the last election under their own momentum, which, by the way, I think they would have. I think they didn't need to create this bullshit. They didn't need to create this narrative, um, but they decided they needed to. And they enlisted, obviously, um, Disgrace Tame, Grace Tame, uh, who is another notorious bullshit artist. Um, you know, I mean, her whole uh, abuse claim, obviously no one supports what her teacher did. Uh, that was a creepy as hell. But, you know what I mean? She kept seeing him week after week for six months. You know what I mean? What the fuck was that about? Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, that was a load of nonsense as well. Anyway, they made her Australian of the Year. I think the timing of that was interesting. And then, um, you know, you've got Brittany Higgins has got this accusation. Brittany Higgins and Lerman both worked for Linda Reynolds, who was the Defence Minister at the time. And uh, they got drunk at some work party. And then um, Lerman said he's got to go pick up something from back at work. So they go back and then some kind of uh, sexual activity uh, took place. Now, um, you know, what was it? We don't know. Uh, obviously because we weren't there, but you know, I mean, did she uh, instantly after getting raped, did she instantly run to the police? No, she didn't. She decided, I think I'm going to sleep naked on the, uh, on the couch of the Defence Minister of Australia. Now, isn't that the first thing you would do after you got raped inside Parliament House? Is I, I think I'm a little tired. Look, I, I will go to the police one day, but I think first I'm going to have a sleep naked on the defence. It sounds more like she was drunk, ladies and gentlemen, and, uh, you know, just curled up on the couch and then got discovered the next day. And so, you know, that's the mess we're in. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, you know, obviously a court of law has decided that um, Mr. Lerman has no case to answer. So, um, you know, basically it was a kind of, um, you know, manufactured incident. Now, I think the important thing about this is more the way that, you know, various, um, you know, members of the Labor Party were involved in a kind of conspiracy to push this narrative. Um, you know, that to me, it's more got a kind of Watergate kind of scandal. And also, too, you see now, you know, a kind of, um, you know, like cover-up, you know, a constant cover-up for the Labor Party because it seems to implicate people like Penny Wong, even Albo himself, um, you know, and then you've got Lisa Wilkinson, you know, um, you know, who's married to that hideous uh, Peter Fitzsimmons, um, you know, and two Labor Party stalwarts. Um, you know, she was coaching Brittany Higgins, you know what I mean? The whole thing smells of a constructive narrative. I even think I did a report from Tiger Mountain on this, if you go back six months or a year to the pre-election times. Um, you know, I, I talk about this, that it all smelled like it was a setup. It all smelled like a... Const I mean, you could, you could smell it a mile off just watching the news. You know, like, you can always tell major new media narratives. It's the way something is pushed every day every day so you know i, I think the whole thing is just a gigantic uh, um um nonsense to begin with the actual accusation uh, and should be just dropped and forgotten about but the actual kind of conspiracy of people within the labor party to construct this narrative that is a story and i think you know the australian and the herald sun are covering that to some extent and i think they should because you know and also now the cover-up because this reveals a conspiracy within the labor party itself ladies and gentlemen to use the topic of rape um, to help get themselves elected. There's this bitch, Katie Gallagher, um, you know, she was another one, you know, along with Wong, along with Albo and, and the usual Rose Gallery in the Labor Party, who was a major part of constructing this narrative, and hopefully she's going to one who's going to have to resign, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, she's knee-deep in this, and she seems to be the, uh, you know, uh, if someone's going to get thrown under the bus in a Watergate fashion, um, you know, because obviously they don't want it to get the Wong or Albo, so, you know, maybe they'll have to throw her under the bus, which would be good news, because she's a real bitch. This is the thing about globalists. They're quite happy to use, you know, some, basically a fake rape accusation to help get themselves elected. That's the level of morality that they are at. And I think that's the real issue um, here. So that's the report for Tiger Mountain for this week. So think about that one.